Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone, welcome back to SaaS with ServiceNow. This is part of ITSM implementation mock training. Setting up the right notification is also an important step of implementation. In this video, we will configure incident notifications. First task is incident opened and unassigned notification should be mandatory and user should not be able to unsubscribe. Second task is that incident opened by me notification should have information about opened by in the email body. So let's try these two different configurations in my personal developer instance. So let's go directly to the incident notification as we have to make changes in the notifications. So what we will do, we will go to incident and here I will maybe go to the list of incidents and then I will click here, I will go to configure and I will directly go to notifications. This will show me the list of notifications created for incident table. So here we have this one, incident opened and unassigned. Now, this one is the first task where we have to make changes in this notification. And that change is that this particular notification should be mandatory and user should not get option to unsubscribe for this particular notification. So let's see who exactly get this notification. So we have this who will receive. I don't see anyone as of now. So what I will do, maybe I will pick here, um, maybe I will just select the fields i will select assignment group so i will just close this and what i will do i will see what it will contain we have this one but before i disable that subscribable option i will just test this how exactly it goes to the users so i will just save it so it is saved it will go to the assignment group members and what i will do now i will just create an incident here and I will just maybe select caller first. So we have this caller and I have this mock idle manager. I will select this email and I will also select configuration item, maybe this one. We have this network automatically and this is test for notification. And I will just click on save. So let's see. So we have saved the incident and this will definitely send a notification to this assignment group. So I can just reload it and see if any notification was sent. I don't see any notification yet here, but we can go to email logs. So if I go to here, emails, and I open an email logs created today. So we do have this incident assigned to group network. So we do have this particular notification. So this is not the same one. Let me go back. We have this one which says this incident is opened and unassigned. If I open this, yeah, that's the same one incident open and unassigned. And if I see this message so let me go to the logs so if i go to the logs of incident i should see that particular email let me check if that email is available we can check this here here i think i should be able to uh, i think as of now i don't see uh, logs for emails here i think let me check if our email property is enabled if I select email, email properties, if I go to email properties, let me, oh, it is disabled. That's the reason. So if I save this, that means we will be able to send emails and I have saved this. And now if I go to incident and if I reload this, let's see if I can see the logs. Yes, absolutely. 
that's also one of another learning uh, you will get that if you're not able to see the logs and even after this is enabled so you can just go to email properties and check whether that enable that email is basically enabled or not so you can see here it says assign to group network i think this is not the same email let me reload this this is not the same email because this one is quite different you can see here it says open and unassigned but let's see let's do one thing i will click on preview email and i will see that what kind of email it is so you can see we have this unsubscribe notification here i can basically unsubscribe this email as well what i will do now i do not want to give this option to this user they they should not be able to unsubscribe this this particular notification it should be mandatory how can i do that so what i will do i will quickly go to my notification again and if i check here who will receive so we have this subscribable i can just uncheck this it is already checked you can see and i will just save it and what i will do i will create another ticket so i will just i have saved this and now i will create another ticket so i will just type here incident and then i will create another ticket so create new and we will see whether a user is still able to see that subscribe option unsubscribe option or not so if i click here we got the form i will fill the data it's our personal developer instance sometimes definitely slow so i will select this i will select subcategory i will select configuration item as well and we have this this one so we will get network assignment group and i will just do again test for notification and then i will just click on save and i can directly go to emails let's see if we got the email or not if i reload this it is not yet created this is for this particular ticket it will definitely take time yeah we got it so you can see so we will open this one open and unassigned and let me just click on preview email we are is still getting this unsubscribe option now why exactly we are getting this unsubscribe option the reason behind it because this is added in the template where exactly the template is and i can show you that where that template is so if i go to configure and i go to notifications we will basically see the template so we have this incident opened and unassigned because that that particular format of email is in the template so we will see we will go to in what it will contain you can see we have this empty because data is being basically pulled from email template and if i click this and if i open this template in a new tab absolutely you can see email layout itself is unsubscribe and preferences uh, this this particular template is already selected what about if i just remove it here let's let's remove this data from this particular form i will just go a little bit up and i will just remove this and i will save this let's see if we are able to see that subscribe option unsubscribe option or not so what i will do i will create another ticket so i will go here i will click on create new and i will select caller i will select email and i will select this and then i will select this test for notification and i will click on save and i will go back to the logs i will check for the emails so yeah we got it so we have this open and unassigned 21 that's an incident i will click here 
It says sent ignored. That's also you have to remember one thing that's it's coming sent ignored. So I think we have to check that reason that why exactly it is becoming sent ignored. And if I go at the bottom, if I click on preview email, absolutely. You can see now user will not get that option to unsubscribe. So now this particular email will become mandatory. So even if even if user uh, like doesn't want to get this email, uh, there's no basically option for the user to unsubscribe. It's kind of a mandatory notification that user has to receive. So this is how you can configure the mandatory notification where user will not get any option to unsubscribe that notification. Now we want to add some additional information in one of the notification and that is open by me. So if I close this and let's go to notification. So I will right click here and I will go to notifications. And here I want to go to opened by me. So we have, uh, we should have opened by me here, opened by, yeah, it's it's basically incident opened for me. So I will just open this one. And here again, we have that email template you can see here, uh, but our target is basically to change, uh, basically add opened by in the email body. But how can you do that? Let's Let's preview the notification. So if I click on preview, I just want to see how that notification is. So it says, okay, this incident um, has been opened on your behalf. And let's say you want to add that field. How exactly you can do that? So yes, you can directly add that particular field in this body as well with other elements you have here. So let's say I can just put like this. Um, it says opened has been opened. So maybe what I can do um, rather than what I can do, let me check again. Is it saying any name? Not really. So what I will do, I will just go here and I will write hi. And here I will mention basically that opened by me. So you just go to open by. And if I go to opened by, yeah, we got this one. So I will just add this one and I will just remove this. So I will do hi, this one comma, that's it. And if I save this, let's see if I will see that option in preview notification. And if I will click on here, will I get? Yes, absolutely. You can see it says, hi, Joe employee. That's the basically uh, the name populated in opened by and that's the name populated here. Format is definitely not exactly matching, but you can definitely make those changes or maybe you can add this particular thing and directly in the email script which you have in this body. You can definitely use the mail script and change that mail script and then you can just add this particular high or whatever open by me option you want to look for you can just add into this script but let's say you do not have any mail script and you have all the email body in this section only without template or without without mail script then you can just add uh, open by me or either any other fields you want if you want to include that in the email body for the end users or for the users who are basically receiving the emails. So that's how you can configure notifications in ITSM implementation for any table you want. But this one, we definitely give the demo for incident table, but you can definitely configure it for whatever tables you want as part of the ITSM implementation. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day.